we made a public offer to Tucker Carlson on the great Megyn Kelly show uh, a few hours ago. And then we tweeted our offer and we put it out there. It's an article. You can see the details. It's crystal clear uh, to Tucker Carlson. Let me start off by reading this. If you can zoom in a little bit more so the audience can also see it. This is you can find this on Twitter. Dear Tucker, I'll get right to the point. We want you to partner with us in what we feel is a noble and necessary effort to define the future of media. Here's our offer. $100 million over five years, an equity stake in Vitamin, president of Vitamin, and a board seat to project your strategies, your strategic vision and voice, your podcast, plural, singular, and other daily weekly shows, documentaries and movies covering topics you care about. What else? We're all ears. Our convictions about freedom, liberty, and truth run deep, and we believe we are the absolute right fit for you in America. Why we may not be the biggest media company, we are a new media leader driving into the future to make truth, fair debate, and commentary more accessible, consumable, and protected. We are 100% serious about our offer, respectfully, uh, myself. So if you're watching this, and you're saying, well, I don't like the fact that Netflix does the woke and Disney does this and Disney does that. and what? No problem. Then when other OTTs come that are trying to fight that and they tell you $14.99, $12.99, whether it's Daily Wire, whether it's whatever, guess what? Pay it. Pay it. Don't go say, I, don't, I can't believe it. Pay it. Because what you're doing to them, that money is going to be used to go get talent. So this relationship is a two-way highway. I remember I would go to charity events and I would say, Jen, these guys are going to want some money tonight. Get the checkbook ready. we got to cut some money tonight. Okay, great. We're sitting there. And I would say, if the argument's good, we'll cut the check. And I would sit there and say, oh, my God, this is such a great point. We don't need one of those machines. We need five of those machines. How much is each, each machine? $59,000. You know what? Should five machines? 300000 You know what? Absolutely. We'll support it. We were planning on only giving this much. Here's the money. Because it made sense. We need five of those machines in that city instead of just needing one machine. So, audience, th this is a two-way highway. If you're sitting there not happy about it, you got to fund and help those companies that can do something with that money to get that voice to be bigger. And then... This is going to be crazier. you got to go and get that vote of other people also subscribing, just like we get somebody to get elected. So when I had Rudy Giuliani on the podcast and we're having a conversation on the, what do you call it, uh, uh, in 5990 Live, and he was talking about, well, the election this and the election that and election this. I'm like, you know, I'm not for it. I'm not for it. He says, what do you mean I'm not for it? He says, I said, here's what I'm for. If you think there's going to be any kind of cheating going on in the election, guess what? What? Get seven people to go vote for, vote with you. Nobody should go vote by themselves. What do you mean? When you go to vote, do you typically go vote by yourself? Yes. Moving forward, just like the army, we had the buddy rule. What's yeah. the buddy rule? Bring somebody. With you Always no have a buddy what. with you. Yep. This year, 2024. Guess what? You should not elect. You should not vote alone. You're gonna go vote. Pull somebody from the office with you. Hey, Johnny, want to go vote with me? Let's go. Hey, Jay, you want to go vote with me? Let's go. Don't go vote by yourself. What's the point? We got to become a little bit more also, you know, collectively in this tribal leadership to say, let's bring people as well. If you like, like, let's just say, let's say this opportunity happens and we bring Tucker and Tucker decides to do this. Okay. And we have the conversation announcements made. Tucker's coming to value and Fantastic. Guess what? Whatever is going to be in a private platform where Tucker can speak freely and that is announced, whether it's with us or anybody else, if we don't get him, I'm telling you right now, anybody else that goes gets him, I'm telling you, go support it. God willing, it's with us because we believe we're the right fit. But if it's not, go support it. And FYI, let me prep you a little bit more. This is how sometime when we started a company, this is what I said when I first started the insurance company. I said, guys, I want you to be thinking about this. What's that? Um, we're about to make this announcement, this technology. I'll never forget Bamboo when we first launched it, Tom. You weren't there when we launched it. It was the ugliest three months of my business career. Every day we were at the office till 1.30 in the morning with – customer service live Zoom with so many different things breaking with this. And I kept telling my guys, be patient. But I prepped everybody for six months. Not everything's going to go perfectly well. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Boom. It's crazy. We had three of our employees that used to work here. And these guys were, I said, listen, be patient. Long term, we're going to do something big. They're all diehard guys. We just announced that we want to do something with Tucker. They're all texting me saying, oh, my God. Never thought that was this one. I said, well, you were impatient. If you were patient, we told you the vision is really big. When Tucker goes anywhere. And the first month, two months, three months, six months is not working at the pace you want it to be. Be patient. The relationship is both ways. 
that organization's got to figure out the kinks, and you got to figure out the kinks. The benefit of going to a place like Fox, the benefit of going to a place like NBC, the benefit of going to a place like CBS or AB, any of these places, guess what they have? They have 600 employees that are overpaid that can go and work on one person's project, 50 people on one person's project. So, But if you go to an independent organization that is not a $12 billion company, $7 billion company, and they're coming up, they don't have those resources yet. So the level of patient needs to be higher because the exchanges, while you go to NBC, ABC, mainstream, you're muzzled because you can't talk about everything because your biggest sponsor is Pfizer. Over here, you are not muzzled. You can talk about everything, but you don't have the 600 employees, and you got to be kind of patient for this thing to develop. But if the relationship with the users and the customers and the capitalist, the entrepreneur, the talent is honest and sincere, long term, we're going to win this fight. But it's not going to be just the talent and the company and not the involvement of the talent, uh, the, what do you call it, the fans and the audience getting involved as well. This is going to take a real teamwork effort the next 3, 5, 10, 20 years for us to win this fight. And by the way, if there's ever been a fight worth fighting, this is it. I was looking at a book upstairs shown to uh, seven of our executives about 10-year-olds, what book they're getting on sex, on, uh, sex education. I'm showing this clip, and, 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 and the book is sold millions on top of millions of copies in public schools. They're showing positions Ugh. on how two boys can have sex in school. Yep. Two girls can have sex in school. Then you have the missionary, which is a boy and a girl, which is, you know. Yeah, it's regular. A 10-year-old guy, a 10-year-old boy is going to learn how to have sex with another boy. Uh, listen, if there's ever been a time that it's going to take everyone's effort, we're just sitting around bitching and complaining about it, it's not going to mean anything, you got to get involved. you got to support. If you support a brand, if it's not us, go support somebody else, support them. If it's us, support us. Collectively, 10, 20 years from now, we're going to look back and say, we did this together. It's not going to be a one-man show. It's not going to be a one-team show. It's going to be collective effort with you and us doing it together. Without you, there is no value attainment. Without you, there's no PBD podcast. Without you, we don't have this media company. Without you, you and I don't meet each other. Without you, we don't have all these people that are working here. This has been collective. I'm grateful for you guys, but I just want to prep you, and I hope this kind of made sense to some of you guys that are still watching this. I'm going to ask you for more. If you say, Pat, we're going to do this, we kind of need to get to the next phase of we're going to need your help at the next level. You know, till today, I'll tell you one thing about value attainment. Um, Tom, when we were building the insurance company, you know my salary. Not when we sold the company, but you know my salary when we were building an insurance company. Was I ever the highest paid guy in the company? Absolutely not. You were not even in the top 10. What was I paying myself salary-wise? You, you know you were part of the payroll. Can you tell everybody what I was making? Barely 100 grand. And, and by the way, a lot of that was benefits because you got the medical package yeah. for your family. Eventually, my salary went up to 250 Okay, salary. And then if the company did well, I got something of the EBITDA, 5% of whatever the EBITDA was, about $5 million of EBITDA. So it's not like it's millions of dollars. I'm getting another $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 of bonus. But it was based on growing the company. I didn't have any problem till today from Vitamin day one till today. You know how much money I've taken off the table from Vitamin? Zero. I don't take a salary from this. I don't take profits at the end of the year. Everything's reinvested into value because vision is real. So we're, when we're doing what we're doing, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe we have to pay that. I can't believe we're, we're not doing this because I'm trying to go buy another car. I've made a good decision. I've done well for myself financially where we've set aside a good amount of money and we sold the insurance company. This is a project of 40 years. I'm going 40 years with media, with value period. And I say this a long time ago, and I'm saying it right now. I don't need another exit to become financially free. We are going on a 40-year run. God willing, we're healthy. I'm 44. If I live up to 84, thank you, God. I've already lived an incredible life. The things I've done, I'm very happy about it. But the next 40 years, God willing, uh, we'll be able to compete in the marketplace. And with guys like Tucker, once-in-a-lifetime type of a guy, you know, you like the guy. You want to hear more of the guy. You want to hear his perspective. You want to hear what questions he's asking, the way he goes and researches, the way he interviews people, you know, his charisma, his authenticity. There's a lot of people that want to see this guy run. There's people that are talking about why does not just announce and go run for president? Why don't you just go run for office? He may even just announce, I'm going to go run for office. You know what would happen? What a shakeup it would be if he made that kind of announcement. But what's the point? The point is people are saying that because they would like a guy like this to run the country. Yeah. If he chooses to do that, great. If he chooses to join a platform like ours, great. If we're here, oh my God, oh. all I can tell you is future looks bright. That's so right. But no matter where he goes, and, we're going to support that, the guy because we that, believe Pat, in him. I hope, I hope the people, and thank you everybody that, that is supporting Valuetainment. Thank you, Pat. Uh, I just have to say that off the rip. But uh, 
I, I, first of all, I don't think he should, like, 100% do not do anything political, Pat, because you saw what they did with Trump. They're going to 100% go after him as well. What do you think, Tom? If he runs for, if he did anything political, what would happen to him? Tucker? Tucker. T Tucker's going to make more of a difference and be more of a candidate than anybody realizes. He could be he could be tremendous. But I think his voice, his talents, look, you know, you look at who is Tucker. I look at him. He's an entrepreneur. He created da Daily Caller. He's a producer. He has an eye for content. He's a voice and a personality of his own show. He's also an author. If you haven't re ever read Ship of Fools, you should read Ship of Fools. It's a great book. Kind of funny, too. You step back and look at that. You know why we? You know why I recognize all that? Because we're all that. I mean, look at Pat. Pat's a multi-time entrepreneur. He's an author. He's a producer. My gosh, and he's a, yeah, and he's his own voice and personality. We understand that, and we are that. And so I look at all that, and I kind of see. I said, "Wow, you know, Tucker is very much like us." Could he be very well in political sphere? Absolutely. But I think he still has a voice, an opportunity, and he could take his time and talents and really, you know, <laughs> drive in service to America what we're talking about Can here. I tell you selfishly where I'm at? Let me tell you selfishly where I'm at. Okay. As a, as a guy who wants to run with this guy, we'd love for him to be here. But I'm telling you, if he ran, I'm 100% supported behind him because I think he would be the number two guy overnight. I agree he would with that. be number two I, I, guy I, overnight. Way, I'd be right with you, and that's where my trip would yeah. be. Number two guy overnight. So purely support. Uh, uh, I said this to Megan earlier. Megan's like, so what do you think about the fact that the video just came out and the fact that he said this and he said that and this video that was released and leaked by you know Fox? And What are your thoughts about this? You know what my answer was? I said, listen, you know what history tells us? People who had the audacity to fight a fight against the bullies and bully the bully were never perfect. They were not the people that you saw them. You're like, oh, my God, what a, you know, a fantastic this. Now, Churchill was able to do something Chamberlain couldn't do. Okay, it's just period. Ulysses S. Grant was able to do something. McClellan, who was all he wanted to do is train, 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 train for, uh, you know, uh, 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 for Abraham Lincoln. All he wanted to do was train, constantly train his soldiers. Listen, Lincoln's like, listen, how many more months do you need to train your guys? Let's roll. No, they're not fully trained yet. Dude. We got to go to war. Yeah. We got to win this war. No, they're not trained yet. <clears throat> Ulysses S. Grant. I keep trying to get a hold of him. He's not, he's not, I can't get a hold of him. Lincoln is furious because he can't hear, hear back from Ulysses S. Grant. When he hears from him, guess what he says? We won. <laughs> and guess what Ulysses yeah. S. Grant was? <laughs> Drunk, all this other stuff. What happens to Grant after Lincoln dies? Two-term president. Yeah. Okay? So, so, the, so the point is we can go back and talk about how – you know, so much of, well, what about this and what about that and what about this? Listen, you know, we're looking for somebody who's a dog of a fighter. When I say dog, I mean a dog fight. This guy's got the dog fight in him. Uh, you, you know when was the first time I fell in love with this guy? I'm like, I freaking like this guy. When? Was when John Stewart came in to try to bully him, and I watched him. You know how many times I watched that? You want me to tell you how many times I watched that clip? With the bow tie? With the bow tie? You know how many times I watched that how clip? How many times? If I tell you 200 times, that's a low number. Really? <laughs> do, do you know, like for me in basketball, I watch more post-game interviews than I watch interview than I watch the game. I'm a post-game interview guy. I watched the other day John Morant. You lost. What's your comment? So, hey, John, what do you have to say about the fact that I don't think about anybody in the West? You say, well, I have to deal with that. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, weak answer. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, uh, Giannis, uh, what do, you, do you consider this year a failure? Eric, <sighs> you asked me the same question last year, okay? When Stewart came in, and he was a main guy, and you try to bully him, you just watch Tucker. And I'm telling you, Tucker never forgot that. Mm -hmm. And as much as John peaked, Tucker took it a whole, whole different level. It was a way of saying, look, man, I'm not going to get bullied. It's very hard to find people like Tucker. I don't, I don't, we've never had dinner together before. We've never broken bread. I'm not sitting here saying we're friends. Oh, you know, it's my buddy. Nope, I've never said that, and I'm not here to say that because we've never had any kind of up until this conversation taking place. We've never had anything that has ever happened, right? But when I see a guy like that, that's that video took place with John trying to make you guys just you got to stop. You're terrible. You're this, and you see his reaction. Yeah, well, you know, and then all of a sudden he see him going from the bow tie yeah, to who he was, personal and guy. I hear. So, you know, under shadow of all the people, and then boom, he's at the top. Listen, I relate to underdogs. That guy was an underdog. Now he's at the top. 
And he's got a good, I think he's got a good 10 to 15 year run of being on fire. And his voice is needed every night. People are asking, where's this guy's voice? So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.